Data relationships between objects in Salesforce can be a tricky topic to get your head around. You may be faced with a business scenario that requires creating a custom object, and the next decision is which relationship types you should use to extend your Salesforce data model. This is a fundamental concept to learn, as it ensures you pick the right relationship type that ensures a scalable data model. We're excited to bring you more video content, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content from Salesforce Ben. Without further delay, let's dive into object relationships in Salesforce. Let's start with a lookup relationship, which is a loosely coupled relationship allowing you to relate one object to another in a one-to-many fashion. For example, an account can have many related cases. In a lookup relationship, the lookup is not required. You can make the field required, but the records can exist independently of each other. A key thing to remember about lookup relationships is that they do not support roll-up summary fields, and this is a really important differentiator between a lookup and a master detail relationship. The records can have their own organization-wide defaults, sharing settings, and their own owners. Next, let's look at master detail relationships, which is a strongly coupled relationship. The child record in a master detail must always have a parent. For example, if we have an invoice object and an invoice line item object in a master detail relationship with invoice as the master, each invoice line item must be linked to the parent invoice record. Objects can only have two master detail relationships in total. Because the records are strongly tied together, if the parent record is deleted, all child records will also be deleted. However, there is the option to allow users to reparent records if needed. Master detail relationships support roll-up summary fields, and the child record is controlled by the parent. This means that the child record inherits the sharing settings of the parent record and will not have its own owner. Let's recap. Roll-up summary fields are only available on master detail relationships. The parent record is always required in a master detail relationship, but lookup fields are optional. In a master detail relationship, a standard object cannot be on the detail side of that relationship. In a lookup relationship, the records can have different sharing settings and owners. However, in a master detail relationship, the child record is controlled by the parent, and so the child record cannot have its own owner. In a lookup, both records can exist independently, and you can have a child record without a parent. But for our master detail relationship, you cannot have a child record without a parent. And when you delete the parent record in a master detail relationship, all child records will also be deleted. Sometimes you need a many-to-many -many relationship, and this is where you need a junction object. For example, for recruitment, we can have jobs and candidates. Jobs can have multiple candidates, and candidates can apply to multiple jobs, so a one-to-many relationship does not work. We can create a custom junction object called applications, which will allow a job to have many candidates apply, and candidates apply to many jobs. A self-relationship relates an object to itself, excluding the user object. This is useful when creating hierarchies, which should be a familiar concept as we have several standard hierarchies in Salesforce, including accounts and campaigns. A hierarchical relationship is a lookup field between users. It associates one Salesforce user with another and can be used to create a hierarchy of users. Last but not least, we have several types of relationships for working with external objects. An indirect lookup relationship allows a relationship to be formed between a parent Salesforce object and a child external object. External lookup relationships allow a relationship to be formed between a child Salesforce or external object to a parent external object. Learning the different types of relationships in Salesforce and when to use them is a core part of any Salesforce professional's job. Hopefully this video has given you a great overview of relationships and when to use them. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content from Salesforce Ben.